Hi, Plotter Pals. My name is Travis Croken, author and lead trainer here at Plotter. Today, I am very excited to share with you the new major features that come with this latest update to Plotter. These new features allow you to search your outline, notes, characters, places, and tags. You can duplicate plot lines. You can move plot lines from one book to another within a series. And you can now add categories to your places. I am very excited about all of these new features, as I'm sure you will be too. So let's take a closer look. The first new feature that we are going to look at is the search feature. So if we click in the outline, we will see a search bar. We can type in the word wolf. And that now cuts the chapters down to only plot lines that have the term wolf included. To get rid of this search function, all we have to do is delete the word that we have factored in and we go back to seeing our regular plot lines. This works the exact same way for characters. If we type the word mother, it is only going to bring up the character mother pig because that is the only character that has the term mother used for it. Again, deleting the word mother will bring back all of the characters that we have within our story. This search function works the exact same way for places and tags as well. The next feature we are going to look at is duplicating plot lines. When we hover over pig number one, beside the black book icon are two small white squares. These represent duplicate plot line. If we click on these two white squares, the pig one plot line duplicates directly beneath the original pig one plot line. The next feature is the ability to move a plot line from one book to another within a series or to a series view. In order to do this, we will click on the black book icon. When we click, it creates a drop down menu that allows us to choose which book we would want the plot line to move to. For this, we are going to choose the return of mother pig. When we click on it, we get a notification in the bottom right hand corner that says woohoo plot line moved to the return of mother pig. To verify this, we can go up to the drop down menu in the top left hand corner and click on the book, the return of mother pig. Doing so allows us to see that the pig number one plot line is now included to return back to our original project that we we're working on. All we have to do is go back to our upper left hand corner and click back to three little pigs. The next new feature we're going to look at is adding categories to places. Adding categories to places works the very same way it does for notes and characters. In order to do this, all we have to do is click on the categories button and that will bring up an option for us to add categories. For this, we will add the category secondary and click add. Once we close this and then click into the tile for mother's house, we can see it is currently uncategorized. We can now place this as a secondary location for the story. If we click on straw house, we can then choose to make the straw house one of the primary locations of the story. And we can continue to do that with all the remaining places that we have in our story. Those are the major features in this plotter update. Additional fixes have been included, which you can read more about in the release notes. What is your favorite feature? Let us know in the comments below, and as always, happy plotting!